Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And I've been using Monjaro since uh, June of 2022 to manage my type two diabetes. Since then, I've lost almost 60 pounds. I've lowered my A1C from 8.2 to 6.0. I'm no longer on my high blood pressure medicine. I had non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and I don't have that anymore. So um, yeah, so a big question I receive is what do I eat? And rather than sharing what I eat, I like to um, share how I eat. However, this is gonna, I'm gonna show you what I'm having for dinner tonight. It's a Monday, I don't know what my hair is doing, but had a long day at work and I'm coming home and actually I'm going to have a cauliflower cauliflower meal. Um, I usually make most of my food from scratch, but I use the Ibotta app. And if you're familiar with it, basically they had a deal when you buy one, you got the second one for free. So I'm like, why not give it a try? And so let's see, this is the cauliflower penne pomodoro. And Basically, I'm going to put it into a skillet with five tablespoons of water and I'm going to cook it up. But let me just read you some of the um, some nutritional facts about this. So there are 2.5 servings per container and a serving is one and a half cups frozen or one cup prepared. And it has 210 calories per serving and the bag has 520 calories in this whole bag. And the total carbs, so let's say 47 grams. I should have got my readers. Yeah, 47 grams per serving. Uh, total sugars, five grams. Um, other good stuff, total fat, one gram. The sodium, 520 milligrams. So there's got some calcium in here, some iron, potassium as well. So I have not tried this. I did try my other bag and it wasn't penne pasta, it was something else. But let's give this a whirl. Oh, I guess you're probably wondering what the ingredients are. Well, if I have my readers, let's see. It is difficult to read. Anyway, I will read the ingredients later. So let's get cooking. My skillet is heating up. All right, check it out. Okay, so the instructions are to pour contents of the bag into a skillet on medium heat. Here we go, so check that out. I got those little discs here. This is actually the, um, like the sauce. I measured out five tablespoons of water. Looks like we got the pasta, got the sauce, we got some veggies there. I guess when I read the ingredients, I'll know exactly what, what it is, but it looks like zucchini and carrots. And obviously, perhaps the pasta is made out of cauliflower. All right, so this does say ready in minutes, serves two plus. Do that ready in minutes. All right, so now I need to cover and cook for eight to ten minutes or until the pasta and sauce reach the desired consistency. Gotta put those big words in there for me. So it does say stir occasionally, so I'm going to stir before I'm going to cover it up. And I'm going to cut away so you don't need to watch me cook for eight minutes. I really don't have a matching lid, so here we go. And I'm gonna put my timer on. Well, it's probably like seven minutes now, but we'll just we'll keep it eight. Okay, so while the pasta is uh, cooking, let me just share with you the ingredients. 
So for the pompadouro sauce, there's peeled crushed tomato, tomato juice, water, cornstarch, onion, basil, sugar, extra virgin olive oil, garlic salt, natural paprika, and chili pepper. And then the cauliflower penne is cauliflower, corn flour, potato starch, rice flour, lentil flour, psyllium, citrus fiber, water, guar gum, Zanic, Zanic gum. And then grilled zucchini. And manufactured in a facility which also processes milk, soy, egg, and sesame. Well, other than those last two ingredients, well, with the exception of cauliflower or zucchini, can't pronounce them, but it's okay, right? It's still over only 210 calories per serving. So I'm bringing out my spoon rest. This is just a little family history. This belonged to my, my grandma Huber and she passed away in the 90s. Actually, I was working in Yellowstone National Park this summer that she passed away and she had a, a good long life, but this was her spoon rest. So it's one of the things that I have to remind me of her. And she was a great cook as well. Just put that up there. It'll be about five minutes to go. This is not a cooking competition, so it's okay. Now it does suggest for, it is sticking, but it suggests for added, what, pop of flavor to add a splash of olive oil while it's cooking. So let me just go add that splash. What do you think a splash is? How many teaspoons? Hmm. the splash. And I'm not using fancy things. I get this at, at the Walmart. I'm sure it would taste better if I was using an olive oil that perhaps I harvested. You know, there's an olive grove in uh, Florida up north of me. I think around the Tampa area, if I recall. Went there several years ago. I didn't make olive oil, but I visited the farm or the grove. It was very impressive. All right, so you can see the pasta or the um, sauce discs are melting. Does anyone else think of the Wicked Witch of the West? I'm melting when you say I'm melting. Any Wizard of Oz fans there? Okay. We're gonna let this cook a little bit more. Okay, looks like we have about less than two minutes to go. Still needs to melt. Mmm, it does smell nice. And then the bag also recommends adding salt to taste. I really don't use a lot of salt when I cook. I do enjoy Penzi spices, which are actually salt free, but I don't know if I have a spice that would go with this, but we'll just, we'll just see. Oh, we're less than a minute. Oh, let me just give this a taste. Bon appetit. Mm. It's gonna to need to cook a little longer. It's not quite al dente, it's more al dent. Let's see. Let's give this another try. Ooh. So this has almost been in the skillet. I think it's about 10 minutes. You can see it's all bubbling. Mmm, it's really. Mm -mm -mm. Right, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plate some up and then I am gonna add a little bit of seasoning, perhaps, well, I'll do a little bit of salt 
And then I'm gonna do a little bit of Penzi's Forward Spice. It's not necessarily like an Italian spice, but it has a nice, nice flavor to it. So this, I have one set of these dishes. When I got married, I didn't want anyone to go get us gifts, but people insisted. So I decided to register for Chinaware because that's what you did in the 90s. And I only got one set of China. Then a few years later, I was divorced. So I've been carrying this whole set of China with me, but just one set. So I don't know if that was like a premonition or something. Not that I'm being um, paranoid. And I know this would probably should go into a bowl, but we're just gonna do a plate. So I guess that's about, yep, that's about a serving, right? Okay. And I don't know if you know the old, um, the tip that you really shouldn't season your food until after you've tasted it to make sure it doesn't need seasoning. It does. Not much though, but just a little salt to pop it up. And let me get my, um, forward flavor of the world flavor your world from Pepsi. It smells like a lot of paprika I'm not quite sure what else is in here all right we're just gonna put here a little pepper it smells like in there I am putting a lot so I follow sandwiches of history on Instagram he's really really fun to watch and interesting he makes these delicious and sometimes wackadoo sandwiches, but after he tries them, then he pluses them up. So I'm plussing up my cauliflower, cauliflower dinner. All right, so this will be the uh, taste test. So yeah, I guess like normal people would go sit at their dining room table, but you know, I'm single. I just kind of set my own pace. I don't necessarily sit at the dining room table. I sit at my, my, soap, my couch a lot, but Bon Appetit, this smells nice. You can tell a lot of the, or smell a lot of the, um, mmm. Obviously, like, a lot of Italian seasoning, perhaps some oregano, but I don't remember oregano being in the ingredients, but it does smell flavorful, and especially adding the, um, Penzi spice in there. So, Bon Appetit! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very flavorful and satisfying, especially if you have the urge for pasta because this pasta is made out of a cauliflower. So you don't have to worry about the carbs and the sugar. All right, so I'm gonna have to look for more coupons or deals and I bought it for this. Or maybe I'll just buy it myself. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make it a great day and bon appetit.